What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I just want to start this video off by saying thank you for all the support on the recent videos. You know, I just started making videos not too long ago, maybe two months ago, and um, I, I'm really just blown away by all the feedback and support and all the comments and likes, uh, good and bad. And it's just really cool to be able to talk to people about something I'm passionate about uh, in the comments or on Twitch or just anything like that. And I'm, I'm really just thankful for, for all the support recently. And I just wanted to say thank you. And yeah, if you, if you want to follow me on Twitch, the link's in the description. Um, head over there, drop me a follow, and we can chat uh, about WoW or Demon Hunter or anything in general. Uh, just, yeah. But anyways, uh, back to the video. Uh, shout out to Red Dragon Studios for this comment. You might want to make an emergency update to this because Dancing with Fate was nerfed by 50%. Dancing with Fate was nerfed by actually 54.6%, I believe is the exact number. So it's a little bit more than 50%, which is super unfortunate. Um, I was really excited for this conduit, and especially with the soft cap changes coming to Death Sweep and Blade Dance. Uh, this conduit was going to be major, major damage. Um, but now with the 55% nerf uh, with Night Fae, it might not be as good so since the nerfs i think with night fae we're going to be running the same build we were already the uh the hunt dot damage conduit and growing inferno with Corrine and first strike so it'll be pretty much exactly the same uh i don't know we'll have to see when 915 comes out but with venthyr it's a lot different i really think this conduit especially before but now uh the nerfs uh, it's still going to be really good for venthyr but before it was definitely going to be the equalizer for AOE. So the Dancing with Fate Kano, it, it did get a substantial buff. It's still a 300% buff. So it's it's a substantial buff and it really needed it just to see any type of play whatsoever. Right now in the current state in live retail, it's, uh, it's very underwhelming and really has no effect on your damage. Uh, but with this buff, you will see a damage increase to death sweep and blade dance for sure in particular it's really good with the demonic build obviously because you have more uptime on death sweep and death sweep you know obviously it does more damage in blade dance um so it's particularly good with the demonic build and again it's really good with venthyr because what venthyr was really lacking in aoe and cleave situations uh was something like a good conduit um which night Fae has so Night Fae has the, the Covenant specific hunt dot damage conduit and uh, first strike and Venthyr doesn't have anything like that. So with this buff to this conduit, it really brings more value to Venthyr because mainly with Venthyr, you're going to be running the demonic build, uh, the Agony Gaze uh, legendary. So you'll have really high uptime on Death Sweep and you'll actually put this conduit to really good use in cleave situations and AoE. And with Night Fae, you don't really need that because you have the hunt dot damage conduit. So with Venthyr, I'll show you the primary Soulbind build I think we'll be running with probably maybe two target plus situations, but definitely three targets or more situations. Uh, we'll be running Nausea, the Mistblade. Um, first conduit we'll be using Growing Inferno. And rather than going Dauntless Duelist, uh, double potency, we'll be going triple potency. And we'll throw in Dancing with Fate there, and obviously with Relentless Onslaught. And I think this is definitely going to be the move because Dauntless Duelist doesn't do much for Cleave or AoE, and it's really only good for pure single target. So I was just going to make this video about the Dancing with Fate conduit changes, but since we're talking about uh, 915 changes, I'll talk a bit about the 15 second cooldown reduction of Sinful Brand. So Sinful Brand itself got a buff, and that is changing the cooldown on Sinful Brand from one minute to 45 seconds which is really it's honestly a huge buff it's going to take your sinful brand up time on a bad pull from 30 to 40 percent to easily 60 to 7 percent with the demonic build and on a good pull you could potentially have a 100 percent uptime on your sinful brand if you get good procs on your cycle of hatred uh, while running the increased scrutiny conduit so with the 15 second reduction buff and the increased scrutiny conduit at 252 item level your sinful brand will be a 35 second cooldown which is almost the same as your eye beam so if you really wanted to you could potentially run the momentum build with venthyr now you would use the agony gaze legendary instead of running burning wound legendary like you do with night Fae, and you could still have a, a 50 to 60 percent uptime on your sinful brand so i'm not going to get too into that i am going to be uploading a video either tomorrow or the next day on some different Venthyr builds with different legendaries and different soul binds and conduits and all that jazz. So yeah, if you want to check that out, uh, it'll be here soon. 
uh, just stay tuned make sure you subscribe hit that bell get the notification when it's live uh, i'd really appreciate it and i think that's it i think that's all i got for you today so uh yeah check me out on twitch peace